motor in my spring, which is a P200 motor, lightly tuned, 24 cubic per car, has uh, fuel starvation issues. And so what you can see is that after it's been at wide open throttle for, well, I don't know, a few seconds there, it just starts to, <laughs> as it's not getting enough fuel. Today is run through troubleshooting steps so I can isolate what's going on and fix it. So to start, we're going to see where Mr. Biggs wants to spend the course of the video, but we got to identify where's the problem. Now I just put a new fuel tap in this. It's a high flow tap, so we'll, we'll start by testing overall fuel flow. And the way I'm going to do that is just pull the fuel line off, turn the tap on and see how quickly it flows out. Time it and measure it. So let's dig in. Okay, so first test, just straight fuel flow. My filter's kind of junky, but I mean, it can handle a lot. I don't think that's gonna be the issue. So we're gonna hold this at basically float height is the best way to do it. Turn our tap on. And you can see we're getting pretty good flow. I've got a little under half a tank in there. That's definitely more than uh, is being consumed on this thing's a wide open throttle. So I don't think that's it. Another thing that happens is the, the breather and the tank cap get blocked. The way we can test that is very simple. Open it, and we'll just rerun the test with that lid open. You can see and there's basically no difference, so I'm getting good flow in any case. So I think at this point I can rule out my fuel line, which means it's gonna be something in the carb. So we'll start looking at it. Okay. Fuel tap, so let's test and see how much fuel flow we get through this. Um, coming in through the filter and down. So the way we're going to do that is we basically put our fuel line back together, but off carb. We can repeat the test. And that looks like it's flowing pretty good. Anyway, so don't think that's the issue. Which means we're getting over into the car. Now it could be something as simple as a clogged main jet, but that wouldn't explain why it takes time for the starvation to happen. So I don't really think that's it. I think he's probably pretty clean, but I'll do it I will do it anyway. Yeah, I can see through it. There's no obstructions there. Which means that now we're down to my float passage, which is from the float bowl into the, the main stack. To get at that, that's a take the carburetor off kind of deal. So I guess uh, it's time to take the carburetor off. All right. Also reminds me, I need to, I should have cut the needle. That right there so what's gonna is how here fuel is this? gets from the float bowl where it comes in from the fuel line, comes in there we are, from the fuel line, through, down into here, through that passage into the jet stack. And when you run a larger than like 125 main the jet, bowl where it comes uh, in this passage is not big enough to keep up with the fuel flow. Eventually you run out and that's how you get uh, the fuel starvation surging. And so the thing that you do is you drill it out. And so this is a two and three quarter millimeter drill bit. Um, so plenty there. And we're just gonna get in there and drill very carefully. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be, I'll be looking, looking down, down into the jet stack. stack and, and when, when it gets, gets all the way in there, there I'll be able to see the tip of the drill bit protruding just a little bit and that's how I'll know when to stop. 
You don't want to go all the way through because if you do, you'll come out the bottom uh, here, here, and uh, so that's what we're actually drilling into is you see a little passage right there. There's the passage. And uh, that'll cause bad things to happen. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get after it. If you're wondering why I'm using this horrible sounding drill, it's because uh, it uses a key chuck. Because I, if you you can see, I've got just barely the drill bit in there, and uh, my little hand chuck drill doesn't have enough purchase to, to do this. You see, I'm tilted all the way down to the edge here. Drill bit down there in the bottom. Barely. It's hard to get it all lined up, but it's in there, I promise. So the carb is back in the bike, it's drilled out, and let's see how it did when I take it out for a spin. A lot of different pieces in the fuel system and just if you're having fuel flow issues just work through them methodically it's probably going to be something simple like a pinched fuel line uh, crud in your tap or otherwise disrupting flow but if you run a tune bike if you've got a, a big main jet in there you may need to get radical and drill out the flow passage on the car like I did so hope that helped hope uh, you learned something from it and have fun.